Welcome to Triple G. I've done loads about slugs. I've used Wildman's, I've used JSB, I've used FX uh, hybrids, I've used Pro Hunter. Now they've all got their attributes. They're all very, very good. Um, sometimes you have to adjust your gun to make it work properly, but they do work. Now, Zan, I've heard so much about Zan. Zan, 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 it's gone on and on and on. So I've got to try them. Now, I've just been to EBR and had a great time out there, really good fun. Now, I met Jean, that's his name, Jean, Z-A-N, sorry, Z-A-N, I'm English, what am I talking about? Jean, I met him, I chatted to him, did an interview with him, actually, with Atlas uh, Air Guns podcast, good one. Now, I was talking to him about his slugs, what sets them apart, what's different, and that. Now, I've got to be honest, I've put a few through here this morning, and they're good. No, they're good, good. And I'll tell you this, that's now running full power. That's not the Safari tune on it. So that's quick, quick. I'll tell you this, I'm gonna get some scope cam stuff on this. It's a really nice slug. It seems to work really well. Now the ones I was using this morning were the, not those ones. No, no, not those ones. There wouldn't be the hand, would they? Of course not. I was using the 23 grain 551.217s. Now they worked a treat. Refine the zero on the, I've got a G, I'm using a GPO scope. Have you tried those GPO, general precision optics? German precision optics, not general. What am I talking about? Really nice, crystal clear, far too good for me, but there you go. Now I've got the Eagle Vision on there. I'm gonna try to get some decent scope footage so you can see these things. Only 50 yards to start with, and the sun at last is coming out. Let's see what we can do with these. I reckon, I reckon you might be surprised because so far, they're very good. So I've got 218s, 20 grain. I'm interested in trying those because they'll be going really rapid. 217s, 23 grain. They're nice, we know those. We've tried those already, they work really well. I've also got 23 grain, but I think they're a different size. We'll try those, and it's a different colour packet. I don't know, maybe old, maybe new. But there, uh, I'll try those as well. And we've got the monsters. Not JSB monsters, we're not talking about JSB. JSBs are good, as we know, but we're talking about a 218, 30.5 grain. You drop one of these on your toes, right? You'll know about it. 30.5 grain. Now, a lot of people are shooting these 40 grain slugs. I mean, those things are like a torpedo. I mean, that's not, I don't know whether that's got the power to do that 40 grain. FX probably has, well the FX definitely has, but that hasn't. And I don't know whether 30 grain is gonna to be too heavy, I don't know whether it's gonna to be too loopy, but we'll have a go at those as well, shall we? Be interesting to see. I reckon I've used 30 grain in Wildman, they were nice, but the power on this was a lot lower then. I got a bit more oomph. The old turbo's kicked in, isn't it? So, it might actually be worth a little look. But let's go with the 23 grains to start with. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go with the 23 grain 217s, 551 cal, obviously. Um, I'm gonna go with those. Now don't forget, I've cleaned that barrel. I've put in, I put through it, what, 15, 20 shots, I guess. Um, sometimes these slugs take a while to acclimate to the barrel. I think that's an American word, acclimate acclimatize as we say but it do, it's not a five minute job they do actually take time to sort of like bed in once they're in they're in so yeah let's just stick a few through it only at 50 yards and go from there now the other thing i found with some slugs some group at 50 okay-ish but 100 they're like absolutely bang on weird is it gyrosco gyroscopic stability i think that's what it's called um now, 50 yards, these are running at 1,002 foot per second. So it's quick enough, 50 odd foot pound or you know, something like that. Let's just do a group. Let's do that many shots. I'll just spill them everywhere, always handy. Um, we'll do that many shots, and then what we'll do is we'll um, share it groups. Now, the Red Wolf was working really well that day. It really was. It's got the high power tune on it, but it was running about 50 foot pounds, 52 maybe. Now, as you can see, I'm struggling with the Eagle Vision because I got the lenses wrong because I'm an idiot. Also, I'm doing my very first voiceover. Call, eh? Don't I sound great? <laughs> Thank you. 
they're very, very, very all right. A lot of people have said to me, oh, you got to try them, got to try them. Well, I'm trying them, all right? Yeah, all right. I was wrong. They're very, very, very good. I like them. Let's try another weight. 23 grain. Yeah, impressed with that. Um, they've not had that, that many through. 15, 20 through the barrel, I guess, to acclimate to those slugs. Some of these slugs take forever to do it. I don't know why, and you just think, well, it's never going to work, never going to work. But it's just because you haven't put enough through it. You just stick a load through it. Yes, I know you're going to, it's cost you a couple of quid. Not be worth it though, because these slugs, as we all know, the ballistic coefficient's brilliant. They fly fast, don't they? Depend on your power, of course. But they do go, and they're really, really nice. Now, I know that some people say to me, oh, slugs, what's a load of old rubbish? It's a waste of time. Mate, it's not a waste of time. They're really not a waste of time. My friend behind the camera, Kyle, right, he's like six times British champion and, you know, springer shooter. Oh, it goes on and on and on. Sorry. But anyway, he doesn't get it. He doesn't see the thing about slugs. He doesn't get it. Not interested. I'm here to prove him wrong. Right, I'm going to stick this target back down and we'll see. So there they are. Bear in mind... Bear in mind, that's first time out properly, like, you know, ain't bad, is it? They're coming in, they're coming in all right. So, yeah, right, let's try this one. Well, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do this one in the middle for the 20 grains. They'll be up there somewhere. And then we'll do 30 grains around here. Right, I think, I think I might surprise him. But these, are, these slugs are very good. I brought other slugs down here, to, uh, uh, you know, obviously to have a look at and do my own comparison. And we can do a video about that another time. But Zan at the moment, yeah, I've got high hopes. I really have. So walking down to the target with Kyle, who's very kindly filming for me, because his dad's too lazy. Yeah, I said it, he is too lazy. Um, and then Kyle berated me quite severely. Used language that to be honest, I was a bit surprised about, especially on a Sunday, not very nice. He was eight times British champion. Sorry. Disclaimer, I am sorry. 20 grains, let's go. So first in this morning, you couldn't see around in front of you because the fog was so bad. Now, now, I wish I brought my mankini. I can't believe it, the weather's lovely. We just filled this up. Um, 30 grain, what do we reckon? The 23s are ridic. Yeah. The 23 grains worked brilliantly. The 20 grain, that's mad. I mean, that's like that. That's really good. Um, it's very still today because it was all foggy this morning. You wouldn't have put a milk bottle out in it. You really wouldn't. But now it's, it's so calm. It's proper nice. So these 30s, they've got every single chance to shine a bit like the sun. So let's have a go, shall we? Well, that was an easy video to do. Dead easy. Uh, as you've seen on the, uh, the Eagle Vision scope footage. Mate, these are really good. They're really, really good. They're not mad money. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, yeah, I've got to be honest. That was a dead easy video to make. I really like making videos like this. Yeah, they're really good. That's running 55, 55 foot pound with a 25, no, uh, with a, yeah, 2539. Um, JSB, redesigned, yeah. So the slugs, and yeah, that's obviously gonna, it's a, bit light, it's a bit more, as it goes down the barrel, it's slower, so you need more power. But 53, 55 foot pounds is a pigeon, just gone up that tree up there, and I'm telling you what, I won't shoot it, I'll just send it an email, because that's all I can ever do. But there you are. But it's a, um, I'll tell you what, Zan Slugs, if you've got, if you've got a gun, FAC, and it's a, and you've got a reasonable gun, this is going to be, this is going to be a bit of you. Try Zan slugs, and if you don't, well then, more for you. There are other slugs, but these are really good. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, questions and everything below, comments and all that rubbish. Um, I don't do the like and subscribe. If you like it, great, subscribe. If you don't, you don't, and I'll come around your house. Simple as that. Thanks for watching.